Kelly. Right, so we can see that they are moving very quickly away from us and unfortunately with the rain covers and where we are, signal is so difficult that I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to see them, but I'm going to try and position myself that we can try and see them at least a little bit better. Hopefully the signal will stay, I will be able to get into a good position and we won't actually lose sight of them. But it is a small grouping, it's not a very large group of buffalo, it's only a few of them that are here, so it's seems as though there is only about nine or ten of them and it's mostly males it looks like all males and one female that we've got in this particular section so interesting though the thing is is that the tracks for the Inkuma pride are right behind these buffalo so they keep looking back over their shoulder I wonder if they didn't bump into that pride during the day today and had a situation where they might have been chased already. Hopefully the Inkumas haven't grabbed one because that would mean that they're going to be stationary. I'm hoping that the Inkumas are going to be on the tails of these buffalo and following them through into Juma and we might even see them going after some buffalo tonight. That's what I'm hoping for. It's a long shot and whether that or not that does happen is anyone's guess. Buffalo on Juma and like I said, the first time I've seen buffalo in probably three months on Juma would be quite when you think about last year, how we had buffalo literally everywhere, no matter where you look last year, this is a very different situation. And it's why we've had a struggle with lions staying for long periods of time. It's because the buffalo tend to not stick here for long because of the fact that there are lions every time they do come. There's just been no buffalo around. Now, what's interesting is that they've done a big loop. They're now turning back again the way that they've just come from, which is 